Yo, what's going on fam? It's your boy Gabe here. I'm currently on my way to take Krista home because it's her little sister's birthday today. And so she's gonna go out and with her family and they're gonna go do something for her little sister. I'm, I'm gonna be working on the 240. My boy Sean's gonna be working on his Mustang, changing his clutch cable. And so I'll see you when I get back home. <laughs> so what we got doing what are we doing here, Sean? We're installing an adjustable um, clutch cable quadrant at the firewall. So instead of going underneath the car to adjust the clutch cable, right. you can adjust it from right here. Damn. Wise words of my boy Sean. Alright, just got back from dropping off Krista. Currently at Sean Garage. I think I've already told you this. What? But the more you learn about the cars, the more you realize you don't know shit. <laughs> what? Why do you say that? Because there's so much to learn. You think you learn everything, and then something new will be thrown at you, and you're like, oh my god. What the fuck? Yeah. Trust me. The more you think you know about cars, no, I believe you, dude. And I'm just starting out. Alright, let's take it for a spin, dude. So why don't you tell everybody a little bit about this motor, bro? I got GT40 three bar heads, and a Ford Anderson N41 cam. It's got Scorpion 1.6 roll rockers, a cool air intake. It's got an Explorer intake manifold. It's oh, right. got nitrous. I'm not sure what shot I plan on using. I did the 3G alternator upgrade. Um, nice. got the AC to lead aftermarket valve covers. I got a half inch intake spacer. There. I got a 6AL2 with the two step rev limiter. Oh, no shit. Yeah. Bad news, guys. So, it took the reason why I wasn't here to be able to film Sean uh, installing the clutch cable is because I was looking for my 240 keys, and for some reason, I lost them somewhere. So, now I gotta find them 
or replace all my key logs and ignition and everything. So we'll see what happens. So Sean wants to take a little break from working on his car and we're gonna go grab a bite to eat. So we'll catch you when I, we get back and we're done eating and see what we got next. Oil pressure gauge, a water temp gauge, uh, uh, air to fuel ratio gauge. Um, it has its own independent O2 sensor. Nice. To tell me my exact air to fuel ratio. I can hook up my computer to it so I can data log and send my uh, air to fuel ratio to a company online and they could build me a custom tune. Which here is the tune wire right here. I could choose between them. It, without the tune, the car doesn't even want to run. And then I bought this whole piece, it's Hurst. It makes shifting a whole lot easier. I see um, that. It doesn't fit well with the B&M short throw shifter, so I gotta grind it down in order to make it fit properly, but once I do, it should look nice. It shifts way better with the new clutch cable too, doesn't it? Dude, with the new clutch cable, before it wouldn't go into gear, and look, it'll go into every gear. No grinds, no pop-outs. You hear a single grind? No, not yeah. at all. That, that shit's cherry, dude. Fucking cherry. This is your basic 5.7 liter GMC Sierra 2500. It's not heavy duty. All I did was the $80 torsion key and, and blocks in the rear to lift it up. I bought these Toyo MT tires, 33 inch tires. Um, Got some wheels for it, got some shocks that would fit because with the lift, the shocks were too short. Oh yeah? Put a new grill on the front. Um, and we're about to take this son of a bitch off roading right now. Yep, check that out. That's the old one right there. So I guess we might not be going muddy. But it looks like Sean knows another way that we could possibly get in unless it's blocked off. Well, it's been years. So let's go see. Alright, so me and my boy are about to do a little fun race in the his Fox body and my Z. He's not going to use his nitrous because it's not fully uh, hooked up yet. I wish I could bring you guys with me, but I can't because I don't have anywhere to mount my phone. And my friend, my friend, my boy Ricky, he has my GoPro. He's at Clean Culture, the SoCal event, the season opener this weekend. So he's trying to get me some footage, so hopefully he gets me some good footage to show you guys. Um, but I'm about to hop into my Z, and I'll let you guys know what happened later. Just got back from those runs with Sean, and man, do I wish I was able to bring you guys with me. Um, but don't worry guys, me and him are talking, and next week um, we'll be able to film, and me and him are going to do some runs because I'll have my GoPro. And so you'll see my 370Z against his Fox Body Mustang, so stay tuned for that. So we did like three little races and they were very close, except for the first one. The first one, he it's been a while since he's been able to drive his car and he launched in like with 4,000 RPMs and so he, oh, he, he lost nothing but traction and I just completely won. Then we did another two more runs and we, we did it from a dig and he launched from 2K RPMs and he barely lost any traction he was able to grab real quick. And he was he was able to keep up with me like at least less than a, like a half car length or something. So y'all will be, be able to see that next weekend though. So yeah, check it out. So when I got back, also I started looking again for my keys because I mean it's been it feels pretty bad when you lose your keys and it, so I found them. So next weekend I'll definitely have another video. I'll definitely have the video uploaded of me working on my 240 and installing the tire. Yeah, I just realized I never gave a proper introduction to my friend Sean. So next weekend, I'll definitely get a proper introduction of him. So he can tell you a little bit about himself. Because this guy, he's got a lot of experience um, in the, as being a mechanic. And I'll be able to show you all the mods that he has um, waiting just to install into his mess thing. Because this guy has got a lot of big plans for it. So yeah, that's going to be pretty cool. I'm about to go pick up Chris right now. Because she's done hanging out with her family. And all back home so again sorry that I didn't really make the video that I said I was going to and like working on the cars and everything but don't worry that's gonna be next weekend and there'll be a lot of those videos coming soon and another thing I won't be uploading videos unless it's a weekend because during the week Monday through Friday um, I work a lot I work a lot of hours 
hours. I, I leave, I wake up four in the morning. I don't get back till 6.30, 7 o'clock due to that Bay Area traffic. So um, don't worry guys, I'm gonna try my best to just get uh, a lot of videos out every weekend, try to stay consistent. And uh, so stay tuned for that. Big thanks to those people that stayed to the very end of my videos. I really appreciate it. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll be able to post all of my social medias in the description below. So thank you so much. Remember you guys, you only live once. So let's go out there and make things happen.